<clears throat> All right, folks. One Punch Man Season 2, Episode 7, I do believe. Uh, just watched that this afternoon. Uh, let a couple hours to sink in, and now we're going to talk about it. Uh, so obviously, we're, we're discussing things that happened in the episode. There's spoilers. If you have not seen the episode, please do not watch. Because then you'll, you'll have things ruined. Okay. Anyway, so that, yeah, that kind of being said, I have to give that warning just in case. So... Uh, just as the last couple episodes, I, again, I actually enjoyed this one, and, but there was a couple things I thought were actually kind of interesting. So, again, the monsters are attacking, but the S-Class heroes are kind of, are, are getting more in action. Um, and they obviously don't all seem to get along, which, you know, that's self-explanatory. But is this, the leader of this monster association says that we can keep creating more. So it almost sounds like they're just, like, actually creating monsters and just sending them in mindlessly. Uh, which is rather interesting. So we do get to see a little bit of the S-Class here action, uh, which isn't too bad. But the main thing um, that this is on is, of course, our main character versus uh, or the final fight of his, uh, you know, his uh, uh, tournament there, I guess you would call it. Uh, I just see what the break is. My apologies, I'm yawning. Um, and it was funny because in that whole fight, now obviously the the opponent that he's fighting is seems to be quite good, but he's obviously not on the same level. And uh, it's really good because like the whole time, see Thomas like holding his um, his wig, and I didn't realize that if that went that they disqualify him for like having a disguise. But I just thought it was really funny that in, uh, instead again of him fighting real um, or realistically, um, you know, like fighting the win or something, he's literally just trying to hang on to the wig the whole time um anyway but yeah that was a really interesting fight and it was actually still really well done um that one there i i, I enjoyed that Th there were some scenes that it could have been a little more fluid um I, I i don't know but you know with the way they did it i thought it was okay um so like i said you know it's still not bad um yeah and then like i said the fight that fight was overall was pretty good but that was definitely the one the the one really redeeming part of the episode uh, and then at the end, we get to see Genos, um, you know, didn't even, like, basically realize he got defeated. So it was that quick um, that a monster was able to take him out. And he's on his way. So I'm sure that we'll get to see him in action. Uh, or I'm hoping so. Anyway. Uh, and our our hero, or, or sorry, our human that's supposed to be the villain, was supposed to be attacking one of the S-Class heroes. But we didn't get to see anything about that except him approaching him. And like a villain intervening, so I'm guessing he didn't get to him. I don't know. I don't know what happened there. Uh, but overall, I like this one. I know this is a bit quicker, of a quick of a review, but uh, I'm just gonna get my points out there and call it a day. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I've en I enjoyed it. Uh, I really did. And you know, kind of going from there. Um, I hope you guys do too, man, because it it's a good time. It's not bad. Like I said, you know, I know some people don't like it, but you know what? I'm still enjoying it for what it is and moving forward, man. Um, so anyway, yeah, that kind of being said, thank you so much for watching. Another episode review. We'll do one in the following Tuesday, and we'll see you there. Peace.